Good morning guys and welcome back. Hope everybody had an awesome Christmas. A lot of people are getting back to work, a lot of people are still on holiday, so if you are still on holidays, make sure you guys make the most of it. Uh, I'm on holiday for the next couple of days. We did take Christmas and stuff off. Uh, but I thought I'd take this time to do a couple things I really need to do on the Jeep just to make life a little bit easier with owning a four-wheel drive and a Jeep. Uh, with only a four-wheel drive, having mud flaps in your car, I think is a necessity. Um, it stops just dirt and rocks flinging up, especially on a Jeep, it destroys these hinges with having such an open area here and mud and stuff, you can actually see the line where dirt and stuff just flings up onto the car, like we are off-road the other day, um, as you guys saw in the last video, um, and dirt and stuff is just going everywhere, it just gets everywhere and it's just a pain in the ass, so I really wanted to install a set of front mud flaps and also a new set of rear mud flaps, now in Australia it's actually illegal like it's against the law to have no mud flaps on your car, whether it's just a normal Mazda CX-3, Hyundai, Jeep, whatever it is, you actually need to have mud flaps by law um, to be on Australian roads, which it's kind of understanding. I've had a cracked windscreen on this Jeep and my last Jeep because someone's flung up a rock, hit the windscreen, whatever. So we were going to get a new pair of mud flaps um, for the rear, um, but the ones I bought from Super Cheap Auto I actually got a voucher, $50 voucher for Christmas um, and Super Cheap Auto had a Boxing Day sale which had 25% off. So originally I think these are $35 for the pair um, and I think they went down to uh, 20, $26.50 or something um, each. So I actually got two sets. I got the 280mm by 350mm and now these are PVC 4 drive mud flaps. They're really heavy, dirty and thick. Um, and they are a little bit flexible as well, so when we are afraid they are going to have a lot of given them These are ones are the bigger ones, which I was going to put on the rear. These are the um, same length, but a bit thinner I was going to put on the front. So these ones are 230mm by 350 as I said 280 by, three, uh, 280 by 350 So what I will do is I will turn these and I will need to make like a custom set for the rear of the Jeep um, I want something that comes down a little bit lower and also covers this gap in here between the guard and the rear bumper. I actually moved the factory ones up a bit because they didn't cover that little gap there which I don't like and I want something to kind of protect this bottom area and something a bit wider as well so it actually protects some of the chassis. Now off the front you can see that the line of, because it's been raining the last couple of days, you can see, actually see the line of where the water splashes up and with the chassis all exposed um, you only get debris, dirt, mud just splashing up into the chassis rail. And I don't know if you've got, I've noticed, but there's a big hole that pretty much feeds itself into the sill of the Jeep. So more than likely dirt, dust, sand, salt and stuff are probably going to get trapped in there and probably start rusting inside of the sill out. You can put a hose in there and clean it, but I really want to block this whole section off um, so I don't get any splitter up the side of the car and also protecting the chassis and this little gap there from any mud, dirt and stuff like that. And rocks, um, I noticed a lot of twigs and sticks get stuck in that gap. It's just a pain in the ass. So this is a uni universal mud flap. Um, I was going to get some like name brand ones from different companies but they are range between $60 for two and up to, I think I've seen them 175 for a pair plus shipping to Australia for those, what are they? Um, Terraflex ones, but I think those are ugly as hell. Um, and you can get like a detachable like bracket for them, but don't really want to spend that much money. So these were 26 on sale at Super Cheap Auto. I will leave a link down in the description below if you guys want to check them out. Really easy to install. All we'll be doing is marking out on the actual plastic of the guard. If you want to fix them to the actual chassis, you can make a bracket, um, but I want to leave them flexible enough so if we are off road, particularly up the beach or something like that got enough give and flex on it that's not going snap a bracket or snap off it's just going to pretty much bend itself up um, and if it does crack the plastic it's no big deal if we do need to make a bracket later on we can really easy to take off build something else but um, with the packet it actually gives you all the hardware six bolts included nuts washers which is really good 
um, you can drill through any part of these but we'll be utilizing the factory bolt holes in the actual mud flaps itself um, and we'll be going all the way as you'll see later with the bigger ones uh, it actually goes from the end of the guard right to that top point there which is going to give it a nice protection on the Jeep so really universal straightforward didn't want to spend a lot of money and a lot of people are like oh well it doesn't say Jeep on it well what I'm going to do is actually I'm going on eBay either buy another one of it doesn't actually say Jeep there but either a Jurassic Park sticker like a white one to actually stick on that or just one that says Jeep on and have that on for I think they'll look a lot nicer rather than just being plain black so let's go marking out um, I'll be using a tape measure a black pen to mark out my lines and a tape measure to measure from the ground to the bottom of the mud flap to get the measurements pretty well spot on it's really simple really easy let's get to it and see how it looks I actually placed, uh, did my measurements, placed one bolt at the further side um, to give it some support, came up to my desired measurement with my tape measure, made another black mark, that way I can just drill straight through there, bolt it and I can do the centre one and it all lines up so it's about the same height off the ground. Might vary, might vary for you guys depending on how high or low you want yours and how much place that you actually got to play with as well. Alright, so I've taken it off, I've drilled all my three holes, now you can see actually on the mud flap it's raised and flat on one side, I'll be having the flat side facing on the inside of the guard, that way no mud and dirt get um, stuck in there. Now instead of placing it on the outside of the guard, we're placing it on the inside of the guard, that way it's actually going to give me more protection on the inside, um, it's got something to butt against, it's going to butt against that, then also the sill on the Jeep. So we'll just slide that in the back and we can bolt it all together. So it's going to sit in like that. Done. Don't even have to bolt it down. Alright, a little bit of trial and error with these. One thing I did do wrong was I measured from the front, drilled through the front, and then because I'm bolting from the back, the actual contour of the plastic's different. So if you were doing that, bolting from the back would actually just drill straight through the plastic and make new holes in the actual mud flap itself. It'd be so much easier. Well, let's check it, check it out, see how we like it. Alright, so that's pretty much it for today, guys. Really happy with the way the actual mud flaps have turned out. They're just like a universal mud flap you can buy from Super Cheap Auto, and you can actually buy these ones from eBay as well. I'll leave a link in the description for the Super Cheap Auto ones as well as a link for the eBay ones if you don't live in Australia or New Zealand. Uh, now we've been running these on the Jeep for almost um, the past week now um, and I can notice a massive difference of the amount of dirt and water that actually flings up onto the Jeep. The Jeep is still dirty because we didn't wash it last week because we've had um, really bad um, weather. But the amount of dirt and stuff and the grime that normally builds up either on the chassis or on the doors is definitely it's definitely a lot less than what it would have been if I didn't have the mud flap. It really protects the sill here which I really love. Won't be getting as much dirt, sand and stuff like that inside the actual sill part there which is great. Um, they are loose so when I do hit something with them whether it be the sand where up the beach or rocks they actually flex with the actual plastic. Um, which I really like and we need to sort something out for the back um, These ones actually come down further than the back and actually offer more protection than what the back ones do They are the same size as these because we went with the bigger ones from the two sets we had from Super Cheap Auto We returned the other set to Super Cheap Auto for a refund um, But we need to find something for the back. Now I was just going to get like a big thing of hard 3mm plastic and just cut my own ones out but I don't think that's going to be well one it's not going to look as good um, I think it's going to be a little bit janky, a little bit hoary. 
So if you guys got any recommendations for rear mud flaps that we can run that are a bit wider and a bit um, longer, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I have some like, oh, I have seen some like ATV style mud flaps on eBay that I might buy for the rear, but I'm not sure how we're going to work that out. But all, oh, really happy for the price and the quality of them. It's so good. So if you guys like this video, smash that like button. If you haven't already, smash the like button. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week.